All praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the Akim out there pushing the word and truth to Siri. All right, shalom to the elect. All right, so this is uh, Luke 9 and 57. And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee whither, whithersoever thou goest. All right. And pretty much that's what, when we heard this word and we start teaching, all right, we start watching the videos, we start at, well, we start uh, listening to the apostles and the elders and the different brethren uh, pushing this word. Uh, and we, and we, we made the decision for, furthermore, the most I made a decision for us, but to put it in terms, we made the decision to come and follow the Lord. Uh, we were in the spirit of this certain man. All right, I will follow. I will follow the Lord whither soever He goes. Okay, but let's let's read the conclusion of the matter. All right, let's 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 continue in the, in the story. All right, and Yahweh said, "This is verse fifty-eight." And Yahweh said, said unto him, "Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has not where to lay his head." All right, Yahweh said, "Didn't have anywhere to lay his head," but pretty much. Uh, 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 symbolizing uh, the, the Lord <clears throat> pretty much symbolizing the Lord he's not in this, this one place you know the Lord he's moving around and you know he was he was moving from town to town uh, preaching uh, 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 from here uh, from there to there verse 59 and he said unto another follow me but he said Lord suffer me first to go and bury my father okay so knowing the Lord doesn't have any uh, a spot to lay his head, all right, he's, he's out and about doing the work of his father, all right, he said to another, follow me, after, saying, after seeing that the Lord doesn't have anywhere to go, all right, and that's how it's going to be for us very soon. Really, right now, we don't have anywhere to go. Uh, where, where do you have to go? All right, you have to go to your apartment, your, 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 your nine to five. Your your mortgage, your home. All right, we we gotta we gotta be moved in the spirit. We have to go wherever the spirit uh, tells us to go, Wh wherever the Lord has us to go. All right, that's the spirit that we have to be in. So he said unto another, "Follow me," but he said, "Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father." And what did Yahweh Shai say unto him? Yahweh Shai said unto him, "Let the dead bury the dead. Let the dead bury their dead." Okay, it says, "Let the dead." Bury their dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of the Most High. Okay? You see that? He said, let the dead bury the dead. Let, let the people out there in, in the world that are dead unto this truth, that don't have this knowledge, let, let them go and bury their dead. Let them do uh, uh, the customs of this world. All right? Let them uh, tarry to serve the Lord because that judgment is going to come upon us. But we have to be in the spirit of let the dead bury the dead. Okay, we can't let anything stop us, all right, from this truth. We can't allow Satan to come into our minds. Okay, that's the men mentality that we have to have, all right, because we're coming in a time where you're going to see death right in front of you. Are right, you going to see, uh, 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 I mean, serious things? Your family members die, okay, and we can't tear, we can't let off day to day to come serve the Lord. We have to be in the spirit of following the Lord, Yahweh Shai, wh wherever He so goeth. And Yahweh Shai, he's he's with the uh, the men of Great Millstone, starting with our apostles and elders on down, going down to the the Akim from there. Uh, verse sixty one, and another also said, Lord, I will follow thee. But you see that I I will follow thee. You have a lot of guys in that spirit. I will follow thee. But then they put a but there. But let me first go bid them farewell, which are at my house, my home, at my and which are at home at my house. And Yahweh said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the Most High. So once you have this in your mind, once you have this, uh, uh, you're persuaded in your mind that this is the truth, okay, you can't look back. All right. All right. Pretty much you got to give up. You got to give up your family. All right. If need be, you have to give You have to give up spending time with your children. Okay. If need be, you have to give up on a job. 
all right, if need be, whatever whatever is required of you, all right, to, to dedicate your life into this truth and to occupy until the Lord's come, all right, you have to do that, okay? And then once you do that, once you put your hand into the plow, once you start working, okay, because you agreed, you agreed to that, 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 uh, that wage, which is, is more than what we should, uh, uh, the wage kingdom, which is the kingdom of heaven, is way more than the amount of work that we're going to put in. All right, you, you can do a thousand videos a day and you still don't deserve the kingdom of heaven. We're only getting, getting it because the Lord promised it, promised us to it, promised the kingdom to us. So we can't, so if you're, you're not going to be fit for the kingdom of the most high if you, <coughs> it's like it, if you turn back or, or you, or you pretty much uh, uh, put, put your family or your friends or wh whatever you have in front of this truth okay and let me end it off let me end it off on uh in Luke 14 uh let me go up this is Luke 14 and 16 then said he unto him a man a certain man made a great supper and bade many and a certain man is talking about Yahweh Shai this is a parable and sent his servant at supper at supper time and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, come for all things are now ready. That's right. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's everything's ready. All right. All, all, all we have to do is, 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 is wait until that last second to where we're, we are uh, 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 fully able to come into the rest. And they all and and they all with one consent began to make excuse. You see that all, all these guys that were bidden into this marriage. A salaki that was bidden unto the supper, all right. They be, they began to make excuse, man. Why they couldn't uh, uh, push this word? Why they couldn't come into the to to the to the flow, fold? All right, just like the man that said, "Let me first bury my father." All right, and other man said, "Let me go home and bid them that were at my house farewell." All right, they're already gone. How are you gonna bid somebody farewell when they're already gone? That doesn't even make any sense. All right. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excuse. So you, you hear you telling you telling this, uh, 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 the certain man, Yahweh Shai, that bid you into their supper. All right. He invited you into the supper. You're telling him that I have to go and have to take care of this piece of land. Well, um, I, have, I, have, I have news for you. The, that land's going to be destroyed. All right, and you're going to be destroyed right along with it. All right. So, so oh, I have a, I have a, I have a business, or I have, I have, a, I bought a house, and I have to go and I have to tend to it. It says another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I must go, I must go to prove them. I pray thee, have me excuse. Yeah, you pretty much in in today's terminology, you have a business. Okay, and you have to go because them oxen. When you buy oxen. All right, that's that's money. You're using them for a certain reason, okay? Uh, you you going to college? All right, you you you're putting all this time and this effort into storing up yourself treasures on earth because you want a more comfortable life. Well, this is what uh uh, uh that's an excuse. So like that's an excuse that you have. And, and another said, I have married a wife, and therefore I, I cannot come. You you got another you got a woman. All right, you married a woman. He married a a, 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 a a woman and you you want to go and you want to please her all right you want to have children you want to you want to you know build up in this kingdom hey man we're men of course we will we want children or right, some of us do some of us don't of course we want uh, uh to live peacefully okay but we're not in that time so that servant came and showed his lord these things then the master of the house being angry see that the master of the house being angry so the yahweh shy is that master of the house? He's angry. He's angry at, at guys that were that that have those excuses, that were presented the truth, and now now they have excuse why they can't uh, uh, come into the truth, not knowing that all those physical things they're going to lose. Go out quickly into the streets and the lanes of the city and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halted and the blind. All right, and that's 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 who's that's who is being brought in, the poor, the maimed. The halt and the blind, okay, uh, representing the elect, representing 
the men that sigh and cry, representing the men that need to, that, that physician to be healed. So the Lord, he went out and he, he started grabbing those men. And the servant said, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. So there's still there's still room in the in the, in in this for the supper. There's still room for men to come in to 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 uh, uh going going to rest. Okay, to make into the kingdom of heaven. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges. Okay, so we are we are we are uh we are a servant, and we have been told to go out into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that they may. Uh, uh, that my house may be filled the Lord he wants his house to be filled okay that, that a certain number have to be uh, 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 redeemed so I, I went into the word in the Greek uh, and a all right uh, for the word compel and this is the word to necessitate compel drive to constrain okay by force threats okay so the men the men that you see out there on the highways and the hedges we're out there to, for, to, to force you, all right, and constrain you with these words, constrain you with these prophecies, all right? The word compel, it means in the etymology and in the, blue, in the blue letter, it means by force and threats, okay? To, to drive to, to constrain. So, so ultimately, we're trying, we're, we're, we're trying our best to constrain you with these words, okay? By force, by threats. Saying if you don't get right, the Most High is going to do away with you and your family. Great judgment is going to come upon you. All right, for all those excuses. And you know, Jake has lots of excuses, man. All right, you'll learn you'll learn that about Jake being around uh, Israel, being around them, being around Israelites. They have excuse. They have excuse to do everything but the right thing. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. You see that? So you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to taste the supper. You're not going to be able to enter into rest. You're not going to be part of their first fruits. Are you going to be destroyed here in America? You know, so um, let me, you know what, let me just continue just a little bit more. This is uh, 25. And there went great, there went great multitudes with him. And he turned and said unto them, if any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sister and yea, his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. That's pretty much what the Lord is telling you because you're putting all these things in front of the Lord. When the Lord, he, he bidding you to this, this great supper, all right, the, the kingdom of heaven, everlasting life. All right, and everything that you that you suffer loss here, you're going to receive a hundredfold, a thousandfold, a millionfold in the kingdom of heaven. So with that, all praises, honor, and glory. Go say hawa, ba shimi al shai, ba shimmer kakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders. Peace and blessings to you. I came out there pushing this word. Shalom.